When using an OBD2 scanner, codes 7E8 and 7E9 often confuse users who expect to see traditional diagnostic trouble codes. DTCs like SORA 300 or PZOR 420. These codes are not actual fault codes, but rather data stream menu headers that appear when the scanner communicates with the vehicle's control modules, such as the engine control module, ECM, or transmission control module, TCM. Think of 7E8 and 7E9 as labels on file folders rather than the contents inside. They simply indicate that diagnostic information is available and that further navigation within the scanner is needed to view the real trouble codes. The codes 7E8 and 7E9 represent identifiers for control modules that respond to a scan tool's request for data. Specifically, 7E8 usually corresponds to the ECM, while 7E9 relates to the TCM. These differ from traditional P codes, which are standardized across manufacturers and point to specific issues like engine misfires or emissions faults. In contrast, 7E8 and 7E9 are not indicators of a problem themselves. They signal that a module has responded and is ready to provide detailed information if the user digs further. Essentially, they act as a menu prompt or doorway to the actual diagnostic codes stored within a control unit. These codes appear due to how modern vehicle communication networks are structured. Most vehicles today use a controller area network, Cayenne bus system, which allows different modules, such as ECM, TCM, ABS, and others, to exchange data and respond to diagnostic requests. When a scan tool connects, it sends a request through the Econ network. The various modules respond with headers like 7E8 and 7E9, which let the tool and technician know which modules have information to share. The scanner user must then select a module and dig into its stored or pending codes to see the root cause of the issue. Common situations where these codes appear include using a generic or basic scan tool that doesn't automatically pull detailed codes. In some cases, the scanner only shows the presence of modules via 7E8 or 7E9 without displaying the actual DTCs unless the user navigates deeper. This often happens with low-cost scanners or mobile app-based tools. To move forward, the user should manually select the 7E8 or 7E9 entry from the menu, then enter a sub-menu such as Read Codes or Stored DTCs to access the actual trouble codes like Pyduquat 71 or Pycos 41. If the display data is still limited, switching to a scanner with enhanced diagnostic capabilities or one designed for the specific vehicle make may be necessary. For example, in a 2015 Chevrolet Malibu, a user might see code 7E8 when connecting a generic scanner. Upon selecting it, the scanner could reveal code P0171 indicating a lean air fuel condition. A real-world technician would investigate vacuum leaks, test the mass airflow sensor, and might discover a split intake hose that requires replacement. In another case, a 2017 Toyota Camry might display code 7E9 during a transmission scan. Further exploration could reveal code P0741, which points to a torque converter clutch issue. A mechanic might inspect transmission fluid condition, note signs of slipping, and recommend a flush along with additional electrical testing. Many users misinterpret 7E8 and 7E9 as indicators of specific problems, which they are not. These codes only serve as identifiers for which control module is communicating with the scan tool. The real diagnostic insight comes from the subcodes found by navigating further into the module's data. Understanding this distinction can prevent unnecessary worry and ensure that both DIYers and entry-level technicians use their tools correctly and efficiently. For clarity, it's helpful to understand a few key terms. The engine control module manages engine functions and emissions. The transmission control module handles shifting and gear selection in automatic transmissions. The powertrain control module is sometimes a combined ECM and TCM. The CON bus is the communication network that connects all these control units. DTCs are the actual fault codes, such as PRO 300 or PRO 420, that indicate what kind of issue the vehicle is experiencing. Finally, PIDs, parameter IDs, are used by scan tools to request specific data points like RPM or coolant temperature. If you see code 7E8 or 7E9 on your scanner, think of them not as warnings but as guideposts showing where to look next. 
Navigating further into the control module's menus will reveal the true diagnostic trouble codes and help you pinpoint the root of the problem.